Hello friends, my name is Knight, and welcome to Corpse Party. As you can see, I have a little bit of a setup here, and this is because um, the player for this is really small and it won't let me make it bigger. So we're playing it on a really tiny thing, and these are going to be here. I don't know what's going to be here yet. I haven't really decided on anything. Cat, you better move your tail. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this will just be blank. But I wanted to have a little bit of a setup so it's not just me in the corner and covering stuff up when the player is literally this big. So yeah, let's uh, do this. I haven't seen anything about Corpse Party in about two years. So, yep. <coughs> Hopefully I get a decent ending. View the chapter one opening. Um, yeah. I haven't seen it, so yeah. Sachi is something? She'd do anything for me. <laughs> I don't think she... Oh. Even something. Terrified to play this. But I still love her with all my heart. Uh, I'm so scared to play this. It was a raining evening after school, just like this one. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled, and she fell. And she died. This took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary. It wasn't long after that that the whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten. But that elementary school once stood right here on the site of our own Kisigari Academy. Kisaragi Academy. Some say that teacher still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day and on rainy evenings like this, after classes have come to an end. Some claim she roamed these hallways, still believing them to be her own. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds, just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building as dark as night. Knock, knock, you'll hear from the blackness followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... Ooh. Yeah! You okay, Satoshi? Ooh. It's just thunder, Machida. I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. <laughs> Come on, stop laughing. <laughs> Most amusing. It was just bad timing, that's all. I don't remember the graphics looking like this. You always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to you, Machida. It's so rewarding. Mm. I've ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Who ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? <laughs> Eek! Save me! <laughs> Don't be a ass, Yoshiki. Okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. If we don't hurry and get back to cleaning this place up, it'll be 7 o'clock till we do. And you wouldn't want to be stuck here during the appointed time, now would you? Too late. My, it really is seven already, and the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. Didn't you bring an umbrella, Sheik? If not, you're welcome to use mine. Really? Thank you, that would be lovely. What? A blackout, huh? No, it can't be. Yeah. Isn't it a little late for anyone else to be here? 
Hello? Hello? Come in, please. Are they gone? Hey, Satoshi, aren't you gonna go see? What? Me? Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs one inch. I'm scared too, you know. Am I? Oh, I'm actually. <coughs> ah! Is anyone still here? Time to go home, children. <laughs> gotcha. I just wanted to join in on all the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? M Miss Yue. <sighs> Did I scare you? You were telling ghost stories, right? Your timing was way too good, Miss Yue. Miss Sh Shishido, you heard the story too? If it's that old tale about Heavenly Host Elementary School, then of course I have. <coughs> After all, it wasn't too long ago that I was a student here myself. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Well, it comes to the seven wonders to of Kisaragi High. I'm pretty well versed. They've been around for a long time now. Oh, when it comes. Okay, okay. Though I can't say I take credit for the blackout. That was just good fortune. Anyway, Mojita. Yes? I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. Come on in. Hello, everyone. Yuka, what are you doing here? Big brother. Seems Mochita forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuka here has come all the way to deliver it. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. <laughs> Is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother is always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aww. I had no idea you had a, such a cute little sister, Satoshi. <laughs> Sorry, Yuka. It seems we're still do going to be a little while yet. Really? That's okay. I'll help, too. Y you will? Okay, thanks. Alright, looks like we got two extra pair of hands now. So let's show this mess who's boss. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Guess you're roping me into this, too, huh? Okay, everybody. Nice work. I hope you all enjoy your vacation, but try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. Today's be Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the culture festival, so do give yourselves a hand. You guys worked really hard, and it paid off. And it really paid off. And they even resisted the urge to bell on cleaning. This old TA couldn't be more proud of you all. So, have some coffee milk. I brought enough for everybody. Coffee milk? You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kind of lukewarm. My stomach's a little gurgly. I don't think the milk would sit well with me right now. These are from your fight with the vending machine, I'll bet. You must have pulled that change lever a good ten times before you finally gave up. Crap, you saw that, huh? Miss Yue, thank you. Thank you, thanks. You're very welcome. Thanks, Teach. Simoto, I really liked your speech. Best of all, Best of luck to you at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Thanks. Won't be the same around, around here without you, Suzume. Aww. I know you, Suzumoto. You'll make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all make sure to visit. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can go too? Thank you, all of you. Hey brother, is that the girl is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's cultural festival was her last day. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it is. Nothing we can do about it though, unfortunately. Hey, Miss Shishido, before we go. Hmm? Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try something? Let's go to Sajiko ever after. Who's the Chico? What's with the paper dolls? Is another one of your occult things? <laughs> kind of. This is, well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends anyway. That's the gist of it. Oh, it's a charm? <laughs> yep, that's all Shinozaki had to say. Susumoto is totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Guess it can't hurt. 
Is everybody okay with this? Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it. Yay, charm. Sure, whatever. Morishigi, you too? Morishige? Uh, yes. Looks like the eyes have it. So what is yours? She's Shinozaki. All the names are ridiculous. Uh, okay, everybody gather in a circle around this paper. Should you get all? And in your head, repeat the word Shirtiko, we beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine times. Don't worry if you flub it a little. Just make sure you don't stop pat part way through. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. Alright, let's get started. Everybody remember the charm? <coughs> so, Chica, we beg of you. Nine times. Ready? Begin. Everybody said it nine times? Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah. Let's get on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now everybody reach towards the paper doll and grab hold of it anywhere you can. Like this? Exactly. Now hold on really tight. Take your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. You're going to pull on it until it rips into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, pull! Nicely done, everyone. Just make sure to keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it into your student ID holder or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm? As long as we all have a little piece of Shichigo with us, we'll always be connected to one another as friends. It's the purpose of the charm. Wow, now that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Try super cool. I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shinazaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Alright. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's time we all packed up and started heading home. Whew. Whew. Oh, goodness. Yes, ma'am. Uh-oh. Gah, an earthquake? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Neek! What the hell? This is like holy crap big. <laughs> big brother, I'm scared. You go, take my hand. Everyone, stay calm. Get under the desk until it passes. Hurry. Or not. Ah, the floor. Everybody hang on to something if you can. Eek! What the hell is happening? Can't... Damn it, I can't see a thing. Naomi, where are you? Satoshi. Dun dun dun. Oh, my leg. I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Huh? Where? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. It's so dark, I can barely see a thing. Is this the school? Oh. What's going on? What the hell is this place? Hello? I can go up here for some reason. <gasps> is that Psycho? Psycho! Psycho! This isn't good. Not good at all. I don't think I can get up there. I can go around. Ah. Ow! That really hurt. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. Let's go look at whatever this is. Heavenly Post, third student reported missing. One by one, the students of Heavenly Host uh, Elementary School seems to be disappearing, as now a third student has joined the ranks of the missing. Classmates testify that fifth grader blank was on her way home from school, but got separated from her friends in the hall and hasn't been seen since. 
Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnapping and have assigned countless investigators to the case in the hope of a speedy resolution. However, 10 days have already passed since the first disappearance, giving parents and classmates ample cause for concern. That's not good. Hey, Psycho. Is it Seiko? Seiko. Thank goodness, she's still breathing. Seiko, come on, Seiko, wake up. Hmm. Huh? Naomi? What's up? Don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead. Oh, uh, where? Where are we? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> it ain't budging. These windows are sold up tight. And it's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Don't the deaths seem unusually small to you, though? <coughs> like an elementary school. An elementary school? It can't be, can it? <sighs> what is it? The printout on the wall it says Heavenly Host Elementary, notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kisaragi Academy? The one that shut down and demolished? Oh god, what's happening? Where the hell are we? And where are our friends? And Miss Yue? <sighs> Calm down, Seiko. Don't get so worked up. Sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I've been shaking so hard. I could hear my teeth tatter, chatter. I've been completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I keep telling myself it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of all. <coughs> it doesn't seem silent to me, it seems like a lot of music. I couldn't take it anymore, I had to say something, anything. <laughs> hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out? We can stand here quaking in terror. We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure, but there might be an entrance way or emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right. It's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going all loony up. Going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. Alright then. First step to leave this room. We gotta keep our spirits up. After all, it's probably just not the two of us in here. The others have to be around here somewhere, right? Yeah, and if we can reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. I have no, I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on the strongest front I can manage. Hey! Character introductions. Direct the eye toward any character and press the action key to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit through the door on the southeast side of the room and resume play. Alright. Satoshi Mochita, age 17. A student at Kisaragi Academy, senior high class 2-9. Fairly average but popular, known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity toward others and makes him a natural leader. The other per only person to ever challenge that leadership is Naomi, who, consequently, is the only person whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. Naomi Nak Nakashima, age 16. Student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High, class 2-9, a classmate of Satoshi's since junior high. Frequently greets Satoshi with, oh, not you again. 
Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support, still she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to medical school. Psycho Shinohara, age 16. A free spirit, she often says or does things that take others by surprise, though she's also easily forgiven due to her genuinely good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of household. Psycho Seiko seems to regard, wait, regard Naomi as what? Psycho seems to regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Yuka Mochida, age 14. Satoshi's little sister, though she's an 8th grader at Kisaragi Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much younger. In the Mochida household, Yuka's always been the princess, genuinely getting her away, and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she needs to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is. And this often gets her into trouble. A lone frog soaking in formalin sits at the top shelf, eagerly awaiting dissection. Can I look over here? Nope. Okay. Miss Yue Shishido, age 23. An 11th grade English teacher at Kisaragi Academy Senior High School. Just started the semester after passing her teaching in scam and is eager to make an impression. <coughs> Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious, and her students seem to be genuinely responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher's assistant through during homeroom for class 2-9 and really seems to have connected with the students there. Well, when she's in charge, all eyes are on her, always. Yoshiki Kishinuma, age 17. A student at Kisaragi Academy, senior high, class 2-9. Often regarded as, a, as a sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again, if either is involved. With an intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. Ayumi Shinazaki, age 17. The appointed representative of Kisaragi Academy High Class 2-9 often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and revels in hearing them scream. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case the opportunity presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi's in its intensity. intensity. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear-induced state. Alright then. Any character introductions to return to game? Yes. Come on, Naomi. Let's go. Okay. Classroom 1A. Ah! Rude. Uh, hey Naomi? Hmm? Is something wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, I was so freaked out I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? You can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal all on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. The shelves are filled to overflowing with long black hairs. Ew. There's a door in the back of the room, but just as with the windows, it seems fixed in place like a decoration. Alright. I must all faculty and students. Due to recent kidnapping, caution is highly recommended during all daily activities. In each instance, the victim was taken quickly and unexpectedly, so please remain alert and aware at all times. Principal Takamine Miana Kihori. Wait a sec. Whoa. Eek! Another earthquake? No! Is it over? I've had enough. Let's just get out of this room. Uh, what? What's wrong? This hallway looks totally different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse? Y yeah, maybe. What's this? Uh, there's a yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. Ew. What the heck is this? Pee? Ew, don't say that. Alright, let's go this way. There's a board over here. Yeah. Acquired loose board. 
I love the music. Is there another one anywhere? I don't see one. All right, let's go. All right, let's. Gap is relatively narrow here. It's impossible. It's a little too wide to risk jumping. Hey, Naomi, what about that loose board we found? You think it could support our weight? Like a bridge? I don't know. Seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Let's try it. Hey, a candle. Awesome. Kind of want to go the other way before I do that. This looks like the way I need to go. Can I get this back? I guess not. Kind of wanted to go up here. Maybe there's another board laying around somewhere. I wish I could get this one back. But it doesn't seem to want to let me. Alright. Oh well. <clears throat> oh god. What the hell? Such tiny shoes. This really wasn't elementary school, huh? Yeah. You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Your father's working late. Or you, 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 I don't know. Working late tonight, isn't he? Yep, all those miles to feed don't come cheap after all. And while dad's out working to put some food in him, I get to be the house fro. <laughs> yeah, I guess you and them are still a little kid, so somebody will need to be around. You're pretty amazing, Seiko. High schooler and mom all rolled into one. I'm not sure how I feel about that statement. <laughs> Just have to get back to them, though. Guess it's the same for you, too. Your mom's waiting for you, Naomi. But we'll make it back. I know we will. One way or another, we'll get out of this place. You bet. Uh, entrance way. The heavy door is firmly shut. Seems unlikely or unwilling to open through any normal means. Urgh. Oof. It's no good. It won't budge. Then... Feel like it gave it all. In fact, I don't think we'll be able to force it open. Man, it's so close yet so far. I guess we better look for another way out. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, can't go that way. Do 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 do. Go ahead and resave there. Oh. The long board is hanging precariously over the edge. Pick it back up. Yes. Fire loose board. Thank you. Alright, now we guess how we can go this way. Yes. All right, I can go this way. <coughs> oh, but there's stuff in the way. Oh, me. Did you say something, Seiko? Hmm? It wasn't you? I definitely felt a presence of some kind. The stairs beyond this point are piled with rubble. There's no way through. Well, fuck. Can't read that. Can go this way. Ah! Ow! What's wrong, Naomi? Look, over there. Are those bones like people bones? Eek! What? What? what why is there a dead person here? Wait, let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. They're really somebody's bones. No! Seiko. You two. Eep! 
You two are new victims, aren't you? Are you not? G ghost! Wh who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined, just like you. Uh, where is here? Where is here? Do you know something about this place? This is a cursed multi-dimension nexus. Multiple planes of existence all piled on top of one another. Created by powerful, vengeful spirits. That's helpful. Closed space or perhaps closed spaces. You and we as well are the unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We all have been abducted. Closed spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everyone else is here too? Are they okay, I wonder? So our friends are in the school too. I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled into the spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in this school. Oh my god, that is such good news. Naomi, they're here. We're not alone. That means Mochita's here too. I bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in the school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or bringing them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Oh, oh god, is there no way out of here then? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they, and why have they taken us? I don't know. Neither the motives of our captors nor our means of escaping is hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space. That alone is a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. Do what you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. Mm -hmm. No. Hello? Eek! Naomi, we have to get out of here now. O okay. <laughs> Are you alright, Sitko? Yeah, but what the hell was that? A child spirit? It did kind of glow. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this seat really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I'd seen something like that. So you saw it too, right? Yeah, we were talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It, it'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Yeah. She's still here? Hey, she's gone. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. What the heck is this? Was this here before? I don't know, but it's just a picture, right? Okay. Victims? Suspend? Oh, no. Uh, tools. Okay. Um... I'm actually going to leave that episode there. All this talking has given me a headache. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Uh, Brunette setting out. Bye!